Hello, my name is Kobe, and this is my 2004 Honda Civic EP2. I got the car in 2019, quite a dodgy transaction. It was in Epping train station, uh, it's not even at the geezer's house. I remember he took me out on it and he was like, oh yeah, this is a really fast car. Like this is like, this is a dog's bollocks. It's like a Honda, so it's like really reliable. It was like the slowest thing I've ever been in. But it was nice, it was yellow at the time. And that's like literally the only reason why I bought it. I could have bought just a bone stock one, which my dad kept telling me to, but this one had um, BC coilovers on it already and uh, Recaro, DC5 Recaros. I sort of wanted the car that like modify and get to like learn how to do stuff on cars. My mum cried when I brought it back. She thought like I was financially like over. I've still got money, so that's all right. I think I did all right. <laughs> Yeah, factory, is, it was a blue. Um, they never did the Type R in, in that colour, so a lot of people would swap the uh, like the K20 in of the blue ones. And the engine bay originally, when I first got it, it was blue. I was bone stock inside, there was nothing done to the engine. It had been ragged so much that it, it wasn't very fast at all. For paint and everything like that, I did little bits of the car. I changed my wheels about three or four times, and annoyingly, I got reps every single time. So it was like one of them, I think it was a phase of like trying different wheels, but I couldn't afford like real BBSs. So I had all like the dares and all that sort of stuff. Started playing about with uh, the hard race uh, camera adjustments on the rear. And obviously on the BCs on the top, you've got uh, the adjustment lens. And then that was when I started playing about with camber. Realized how like shit it looked uh, without spaces because they were like tucking in really hard, like too hard. Fitment was awful, uh, so then I bought spacers. I then decided later on, me and my friend decided, because uh, he had a bag car, uh, I decided that I really wanted to bag mine. It wasn't even a second hand kit. It was like an eighth hand kit. It was terrible. We put it all on, my neighbor's a farmer and we had a barn. Like he let us use the barn. We got it all on and it didn't work. It was, a, it was the V1. I got uh, rear clears for the car, which were really, um, no one had them. I don't know anyone who did have them at the time. Bought it off eBay and I realized they were just lenses. I thought they were the whole, the whole um, light. All the way from, I think it was from Mexico, I bought them. I was really sort of like, I'm gonna just, I've just wasted like 80 quid on, on some light and realized I had to break my old ones up uh, to make them fit. I got it uh, in the last year, uh, or should I say two years, I got it painted. I decided after a while, the paint was the only thing that was letting it down. There was bits of blue flaking off. It just didn't, the the roof was all faded, like the lacquer had all gone. Really needed, that was the only thing. And if it was like going to shows and all that, I really needed like a good paint job. Originally it was done in 2012, so it wasn't the best. Uh, I got someone local who did my cousin's car and it was brilliant. So I took it into him. Pretty much took nearly a year uh, to get it back but it's 10 out of 10, it's spotless. I was really happy. Regrettably, I should have done what I was doing next, I should have done first. So I started to do the engine bay. As soon as the car was freshly back from paint, I was, I was like, my bonnet was off. So I was always looking at the bay and the bay looked like horrendous, it looked stock. So decided to do the engine. I was gonna do the bay uh, yellow. I, I sprayed it myself and I was quite chuffed with it. When we put all the engine back in, the only thing that then let the car down was the wiring. Uh, on the EP2s, on the D16 V1s, the wiring loom all on the top just looks horrible. There's so much like that needed to be tucked away. So Callum, who did my uh, air setup with my wiring, we thought it was going to be really easy because it was sort of like a it's, a, it's a Honda, it's only a little 1.6. Um, it turned out to be an absolute nightmare and it took a very long time because there were so many wires. It was really, really tough. I had to buy three looms um, because we had to sort of extend and shorten, uh, but one of them was purely for uh, just for looking at stuff.
At the minute, I'm running uh, RE EMEA AW7s, uh, which a lot of people don't know what they are. Uh, they were ran on the like RE EMEA uh, RX7 FC and I saw them and I thought they were too expensive and I didn't thought that was it sort of thing. They were, they were on the market for ages and I think the year after they were still on and my mate recommended them to me. He was like, look, I've just found these really cool wheels. And I was like, oh my God, they're still on. I can afford them. So I bought them, got them all like sized up. They're now, I'm running 10 and a half J all round. They're on 225, 35. Um, 17s. I'm not Sudani with the stretch, but it's as much as I think I'm going to get told off by a policeman if he, uh, if he looks closely. I think they're perfect. It sits perfect. I made it so it's like not hitting the arches or anything like that because I don't. I see a lot of people going like uh, when they go arch to lip, they literally like scrape their paint away. Recaros were so sort of beaten up. I took them out and I sold them and I uh, bought some uh, Get Work seats and. I'm sort of glad I did go with the yellow. Nearly did go red, but I'm happy I did go with the yellow. Yeah, I'll be at shows next year with it. Uh, but yeah, for now, it's gonna just hide in the hide in the garage. But yeah, this is this is it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>